In this tutorial, I will be showing you the internal flow simulation of the rocket. And we have the first feature, the cut plot. And in this uh, section, we can see uh, two parameters: the pressure and the temp temperature, the internal and, and the internal pressure and, the, and the internal temperature. As we can see, we have an increase in pressure at the converging section, and gradually it, the pressure decreases at the diverging section. Same goes for the temperature, those center lines. The temperature uh, is high at the converging section, for example this is 694, and it gradually decreases at the diverging section, for example we have a 517 Kelvin. So this makes sense, because uh, usually uh, this is what really happens uh, when you have a level nozzle or a converging diverging nozzle. Now another feature is the animation of uh, the flow. As we can see, regarding the velocity, uh, the blue area is where the velocity is uh, quite low and the red area is uh, high. And this is true because uh, the application of the nozzle is to accelerate the, uh, the air inside uh, the combustion chamber or depending the case, but the thing is uh, it respects its uh, application. So uh, regarding the point parameters, it will give us uh, the surface parameters on the inlet or the outlet depending what we specify. For example, I, in this case I specify the inlet and the outlet uh, area, the inlet and outlet, and I've selected all the parameters. And the good thing, for example, I will give an example in the inlet uh, section. You have a subsonic velocity of 0 0.14, and the outlet section you have a supersonic velocity of 2.03, Mach 2.03. So uh, this is an example regarding the point parameter, and we have the surface parameter. It's the same, but it will give us the stress on a surface in the nozzle. For example, I've specified this surface area. I could choose this or this, but I personally cho have chosen this because it is the most critical part in the nozzle. And I've selected all the parameters and finally I can export them on Excel or show, show it by a link. Okay, this is a small area. You can see that there is a normal force, for example. For example, we have a 46 Newton. This 46 Newton is an integrated part of, on this area. It's, an, it's not the whole thrust of the rocket. Now, to find the whole thrust of the rocket, I set a goal. In this goal, I set a goal uh, to find the whole uh, surface area at uh, normal force. And by setting this goal, I can finally uh, insert them into an Excel sheet or, or I can find it in the report section. And I had surprising the same uh, result uh, as the amateur rocket uh, static test that was conducted by, the, by an amateur rocket here. And that was quite surprising. And this is it. Thank you.